I heard a theory many years ago on the radio that the coordinates for the Denver International Airport were actually given in close encounters of the third kind. So let's investigate. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to say that you can buy or rent Close Encounters of the Third Kind on YouTube, and I highly recommend it. Steven Spielberg always pulls it together, and it's just a classic. Uh, so that being said, the movie was actually made in 1977. Now, GPS hadn't been invented until 1973, so this movie came out only four years after GPS had been invented. So that alone that they were able to do the research and have this like brand new technology featured in the film is pretty amazing so uh, when they start receiving the messages to meet the aliens uh, the numbers start coming across the screens and you can see that here in these images um, and you know it's GPS uh, it's in decimal minutes, not uh, decimals. The way that GPS works is if you're north or south of the equator, you are assigned a positive or a negative number, and if you're east or west of the prime meridian, then uh, that's a positive or negative number. So, there are technically four different spots in the globe that this could have been at. Being as that the writer's intentions were to be at Devil's Tower, uh, and the other spots are either in the ocean or the middle of the Mongolian desert, I figured that it was safe to assume that uh, this one of four spots was the spot, considering that there was not negative or positive signs to the computer screen. So I input the uh, degrees and the GPS on Google Earth, and it takes me to ALT, a unique little town, it's an acronym, in Colorado. Um, right at this guy's driveway. So if you're this guy, you need to put a sign up that says you're at the location of CE3. Now, what's interesting is that the longitude is correct. So if we travel over to Devil's Tower and on the exact same longitude, uh, that is correct. It's just the latitude's wrong. Now, what's really interesting to me is that the Denver International Airport also happens to be on the same longitude. Obviously, again, different latitude, but I think it's kind of an interesting coincidence, and I believe that this is where this conspiracy theory came about, and I think considering how new the technology was, that it was a simple mistake. So I think it's a safe to assume that the writers just got the coordinates wrong, unless the planners of DIA specifically picked the longitude of Devil's Tower. 